this is the second question for our evaluation for the A2 portfolio that we're doing. Uh, the question is, how effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary tasks? Uh, my name is Ryan Dunn. I'm John Michael. I'm Graham Tate. And I'm Luke Judkins. And what that question is basically asking is how our product connects with real world packages, like we've done a poster, a website, and also an Empire magazine, um, which real world packages would have, and also um, how consumers view our product and, and how they might work together. So I'm going to start off with poster because um, I designed them and um, I got feedback from these and um, changed it, of course. Um, so basically, um, the poster is it's we have an official poster and we also have a minimal poster. Minimal posters are um, something that is more of an internet fad where um, so fans. The last few years. Yeah, yeah. fans of we'll put a link to the website. Yeah, yeah. fans of web um, like many films have created posters that are sort of are kind of subliminal in the subtext of the story. Yeah, basically, the, yeah, it's for fans, so it, it, they'll have like an item or a, a, an image from, that from, that iconic like from the film, and then they'll go, oh, right, it's kind of like a sort of, kind of like, like oh, yeah, I get that, so it's like, yeah. an, in, like an in sort of thing. A few examples, for instance, would be Bronson, the minimalist poster has a moustache, yeah. which is key, a, a key image. Uh, the Pulp Fiction Pulp watching, which, the which is the, the weapon selection that he, that Butch goes through when he's about to save uh, Marcellus Wallace and it goes through all the weapons and everything like that. Yeah, and well, we've also analysed that as well because we think that well, it's, nowadays, because it's, uh, as Joel said, it's come over in the past two years where more and more films it's are It's becoming it. popular, yeah, these, so these minimal posters, and I thought that... Um, and the art is very specific, cap isn't We it? could capitalise on that. And, yeah, the other also to make product. to make I guess a fulfilling uh, package I guess for the consumer I think a minimal poster would be key as well because they can it's it sort of acts as like kind of like the teaser trailer does except well in poster form yeah. it's, it's promoting the film itself um, on the internet on these websites that people will create these minimal posters and they want to go see it because they see uh, I'll, I'll tell you what the poster is exactly it's um, an orange background with the um, title crescendo which is our film. Um, and there is a yin yang symbol overlaid on a um, flip knife with blood dripping down. And um, also on the bottom, we have um, the vertical names for the three main characters, which are the villains, uh, which is me, Graham, and Ryan. And beneath that, in a horizontal um, style, is Joel with blood, which is symbolic in a way because obviously it's about violence and. Um, good choices and bad choices, and that's the whole point of the yin yang um, symbol. Also, uh, it reflects the storyline itself. Yeah, it's yes. what, that's what um, the whole idea behind minimal And if we do on. upload it onto a um, minimal post website, it will promote our film because it's um, sort of giving the audience something, but they're very teasing notable. it. They're very notable. If you see a minimal poster, you'll know exactly that it, that's what it is, and you'll be able to Unless you haven't seen the film. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, they'll be interested. Like, oh, there's blood, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. flick knife. Exactly. It also it applies to, to a, a different themes. audience because trailers and normal posters, they'll be released, they'll be yeah. plastered across towns yeah. in cinema. This is yeah. very. But it's it's specific to people it's, on the internet. It's quite, it's quite indie. Well. It's quite indie, isn't it? Yeah. And, and I think that resembles our film. Our film is an independent Yeah, band. exactly. Well, this film. The overall style, as well, I think, of the actual poster itself is quite indie, actually, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the color yeah. scheme. Anyway, let's talk about that. Also, um, we have um, an official poster which um, was sort of done in the style of, a, of Bronson and the Skin I Live In, where those films were both made on low budgets, but um, um, we had it where I was sort of silhouetted. I don't know, yeah, I guess so, yeah. I was a silhouette um, and there was a light, and. Uh, I have the old, you have the title at the top, you yeah. have the like. Uh, film festival selections, the production company, and then you have all the ratings and like you all were the only Very similar to yeah. many. By being only backlit, it can put it silhouette yeah, in front of you, but you can yeah. get an outline. Of and then you can put the white text over the black body and everything. We try yeah. to um, portray um, sort of mystery and suspense, sort of, because our. Um, that's our market, um, for yeah. people who are wanting to view a thriller. Yeah. Um, we, I added the official selections to um, sort of appeal to this niche market that we're going for, yeah. which most films that go into festivals, they, they don't have a market in the first place, and that's how they gain their market, by going to these festivals, being viewed um, in a positive light, and 
that also links to why I chose only five star reviews. I mean, the, the film might not got all five star reviews, but we selected the best ones and also the British ones because it's a British poster, mm -hmm. as well as having two um, critics who are British, Mark Mode and Jonathan Ross, um, and having them say something um, positive about the film. I think that um, that helps the film be promoted in throughout Britain because this poster will be put up on in cinemas, it will be put up with magazines, it will be on like billboards and everything. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that will promote our film, this is the one that people will see, not the middle poster, this is the one that people will have to look at and go, I really want to see this film. And I think that we portrayed it quite well um, to a niche audience, but then also to a mass audience because we've showed how good it is and people might not know how good, the f um, they don't know anything about the film, yeah. but they've seen how well it's been received. Uh, and also, the I think as well, uh, to talk about colour scheme again, is that obviously for people who might not have seen the full film or the teaser trailer, they might not know, I guess, the atmosphere that the movie has, like the, you know, dead violent, that kind yeah. of strange, whereas yeah. I think the colour scheme on the um, mini poster where it's kind of black and white and stuff, it kind of reflects, I guess, the dark yeah, in the mind. The dark in the mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the movie that it shows. Yeah. It's kind of like there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And I'm the thing blocking the light. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the, the villains are the, obviously the It's dark. quite a good message of the protagonist antagonist. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the props there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so because of my lack of Photoshop skills, uh, Luke did the Empire magazine as well. And it's all, again, it's all about marketing, yeah. advertisement, and just getting the product out there. And the Empire magazine, we've tried to go with the normal conventions that you see in any other uh, Empire magazine. We looked at the um, one for the most recent of this at this time, uh, which was the Mission Impossible 4. And we noticed that the just like simple things that are iconic to that magazine in particular, which it has the, um, the uh, an image overlaid the actual logo at the top of Empire, and then certain like cast interviews if it's an exclusive thing, because uh, that's what we were trying to go for. Like, because a lot of the time, like yeah. the Mission Impossible 4 one was, it's about this magazine. This ma the main thing about this magazine, this issue is uh, this film. So we tried to make it that sort of same thing, but at the same time, Luke added in uh, like different films that are out at the moment, like Tintin. Uh, Steven Spielberg and Jackson talk about it. With the uh, Empire magazine, we chose Empire because it is the, the most highly distributed um, film magazine yeah. within the UK. Absolutely. Obviously, we want to get our film out there and um, get the audience. So, um, with the magazine um, image itself, we um, create a photo shoot to yeah. um, to display like sort of our characters, my character mainly, um, by having me in a pose that you'd see on an Empire magazine. Most Empire magazines. Um, are from photo shoots, they don't have like sort of screenshots from the film itself. No, I so we needed to do a photo shoot. Yeah, because I'm sure. With the Empire Magazine, <coughs> essentially we could have done like total film and SFX, we could have done a, a, a yeah. different magazine. Yeah, that's but we, we, we had a list. We did consider that, yeah. but considering that usually they'll pick like a different film each, each magazine will pick a different film that's out that month and they'll yeah. run their theme on that. It's unlikely that they would all choose the same film. Plus, Empire is high, more yeah. high, is highly respected. Exactly. It's the one which is, if you think of a film magazine, it's you're going to go the Empire first one straight yeah. And it comes to your mind, and plus, if you see that and you go, new issue, you're going to you're going to notice it. It so, has yeah. um, it has a subscription base which is in the millions, and um, that's what we're trying to aim towards because the bigger the it's audience. not a, our film isn't a big seller when you look at it straight off, and we need to sell it mm. as this great film, and by having Empire promote it. That's going to obviously create more buzz for the film itself. Yep. Okay, what we got next? So onto the photo shoot itself. Um, Luke, you can discuss that. Even the, yeah, it was me who uh, actually did the photo shoot, but it was kind of it was a failed attempt. But we used what we could. Um, yeah, when the photo shoot actually happened, um, we just got our costumes. These were the these were the initial designs. Originally, I had a long sleeve, um, and we it was just working with what we had at the time. We used the 550D. It was the first usage. The first yeah. use, just to test it out. Um, was that the first ever use? Yeah, it was the first time we properly used and it. And we, yeah. we did the uh, execution preliminary thing. Oh, we yeah. Did that before, but yeah. We did that afterwards. We okay. did poses we've we've seen before, but um, in our own sort of way, just because we this is our first photo shoot, mm. and we wanted to make it seem professional, because it will be used, it has been used in the poster, 
and the Empire magazine, as well as on the website itself. The website has a photo shoot. The photo shoot has um, been the primary use for all of our ancillary tasks. We did consider redoing it. Yeah, because some of the yeah, shots were yeah. blurry. Like even the, the Empire magazine one is a bit blurry. We had to turn up the contrast yeah. to sort of level that out. But in the end, we thought we've got the shots we need, um, and we think we had enough. And we had enough to work and with. And also, I think, uh, although I guess in most cases failed images would be a bad thing, but it's good that we could we'll get those failed images and you know see the difference between the good and the bad and show that and analyze yeah. it in our um, planning stages. And also another reason why we were so wanting to redo it um, was the fact that I wasn't there. That, yeah, 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 Ryan yeah. was missing from the original photo shoot, yeah. which meant we only were able to get um, shots of, of me and Graham in right. our costumes. And we were going to do Joel, but you, we didn't have the costume done yeah, at that time. I didn't have the costume didn't have the time. Time. That It would have been good to get Kieran, but he was an outside source. It was, we kind of didn't really want to Nick was it. probably working on... Everyone else who was in the film was probably working on their own tasks. Yeah, so. we didn't want to abstract that. But what we got was pretty much the call that we needed. And we'll point out exactly the photos that we used. Um, but there were so many that just didn't go right. Um, it, could, it could have gone so much better, but we um, got what we needed. I'd like to say how um, the photo shoot connects with real life products. Like every single thing we've looked at, the skin I live in, Bronson and, and a hot orange, even a hot orange, which was in, was, um, is an old film. They had photo shoots to promote their thing, their products. And we had to do that in order to sell it. Because if you get a screenshot, no one's going to understand. If you just get them there in a pose, then you can sort of get a sort of deeper message across. It's kind of an understandable. Thing. It's been done just for that purpose. Yes. It's kind of yeah. Instead of just trying to pass off. It feels more exclusive. Like yeah. The Empire magazine prides itself on always having exclusive stuff. We had um, the exclusive interview um, of... Which was sort of what we did for Mission Impossible 4. Yeah. We saw an exclusive interview with Tom Cruise, and we was like, um, let's do it for our product yeah. and have an exclusive interview with, with our characters. Yeah, with me and you, I think we could. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, what have we got next then? Website? Yeah, um, on the website? Yeah, so I did the website, and uh, one of the main focuses uh, for the website was to really, I guess, catch the atmosphere of what the movie's going to be like, because there's no point in them going onto the website and it's all bright and pink when, you know, when they go and watch the movie, when it's going to be completely different, like, mm. you know, you've the, got, you've got the, the film is, the film and teaser trailer is generally going to be quite dark, yeah. um, so, and also, I think, the website itself, it markets the product online, whereas, you know, you've got the teaser trailer, which could be marketed online as well, as well, as, but main thing for um, a big movie, that's going to be for, obviously, on TV, mm. um, and then posters, Again, that can be online, uh, and um, that can also be marketed in just on post. Uh, well, the website post would be the only thing we paid for. Yeah, yeah. everything else would be yeah. free, free, mm -hmm. free promotion. And um, yeah, so and also the fact what I use the web, what we use the website for was um, just as another way to market the product, and also like a I guess a source or hub of information where people could go onto the website and get backgrounds about the character, synopsis, and also we used it to mark other products in terms of they could download posters, um, like get it as a background, or you know they could download the poster and print it and actually have the poster on their wall. And also the teaser trailer, that's been one of the main focuses on the website, that will be um, put on the homepage, well that has been put on the homepage. And also it's they can use it to contact us. Um, the colour scheme of the website, that was, um, again, that's again, to capture the atmosphere, it's it's black and white. I guess it has some grey in it as well, which mm. you know, apart from the white, they're relatively dark colours, which reflects the atmosphere the in the movie. As well as yeah. it's only just we only designed really focused on the home page, didn't you? Yeah. Um, and we got the we wrote a short blurb. Uh, yeah. What well, well, um, you'd say? So about the website we looked yeah. at and how our own website shows. Yeah. One, and one, of, one of the things actually. Um, we didn't have on the website that we normally saw on normal normal film websites was reviews. We haven't, uh, we didn't include that in, but no. um, the rest of it, it definitely follows, I guess, how other websites work. You know, it's got the main thing we want to market is, a, is, the is on there. Yeah. Like we've got the trailer there, yeah. straight up. Um, um, we'll be able to see it really clearly.